I hope you are all doing well, you know, loving life, that type of thing. Um, it's May, which means prom is coming up, and me and my hyper state, well, me in any state really, I love glam looks, but I just really wanted to film uh, something really, really glam for you guys today. I did a really bright look on my channel the other day, but I know that's not for everyone, so I wanted to film something that was really neutral, will suit everyone, is really easy to achieve. Um, you don't need to break the bank to do it. You can find these sorts of colours in the drugstore in pretty much any palette. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorial. Um, if you want to see how I got this, then just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me as well. Most of the time I just chat shit, so sorry in advance if you do subscribe. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna try and whiz through this and keep this tutorial as short as possible because I get into the habit of talking a lot in my videos. I do like to talk um, and they end up being like 20 minutes long, half an hour long and I ended up having four hours of footage to edit last time. So this time I'm gonna try and keep it a bit shorter. So all I've done so far is the usual Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow through my brows and I've carved them out using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, this is in the shade Custard. Then I've just set them using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So the first shade I'm gonna go in with is Peach Smoothie. This is a shade by Makeup Geek. My favorite ever, hands down my favorite transition shade. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy MAC 27 brush and I'm gonna run that through my crease. Next I'm taking Wild West, which is also by Makeup Geek, on a um, a different fluffy 217 brush. It's the same, but it's just a clean one. Please excuse the red on my hand, it's just eyeshadow. Um, and I'm going to run that through my lower crease to start defining it. Then on the same brush from before, I'm just taking some more peach smoothie to blend that out. Then back to the brush with the Wild West on it, I'm taking this shadow here which is called Coco Bear, it's again from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to retrace my steps of the Wild West in my lower crease with Coco Bear. Then repeating the steps with Peach Smoothly to blend that out. You don't need to worry for the time being about it being really messy down here. Just really focus on blending out around this area here, around your upper crease, to make sure that the look is really, really diffused and any colours that you've put there are really nicely blended out. We're going to wipe this away later into a nice, sharp, um, winged line, so we don't really need to worry about blending around here or the fact that it's come too far down or if any's fallen on your face, don't worry about it. Next, I'm taking the shade Americano. Um, and I'm just going to focus this on the outer C of my eye. I'm not going to take this through the crease at the front end at all, just literally on this outer portion of the eye. Then when it's left on the brush, I'm just going to drag that briefly through the first sort of half of the crease. I'm not going right into the inner corner. Then again back into the peach smoothie to just blend out those edges. Next, I'm just gonna take my um, Urban Decay Naked Smoke Palette and I'm gonna take this shade here, it's called 13. It's like a matte cream color. And I'm gonna use this just on a flat brush to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour um, Eye Studio. It's like a cream eyeshadow. Um, and it's in the shade On and On Bronze. And then I'm gonna take this on um, another flat shader brush. This is flat shader brush. This is a Mac 242, and I'm gonna run this over the first half of the lid as the base for the pigment I'm gonna use. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favourite pigment. It's from Mac. It's called Tan. It's the most amazing. The camera is picking it up slightly. It's the most amazing, like almost rose gold. It's just. It's, un it's just amazing. I find it suits every single eye colour, but especially if you've got blue eyes, this colour just seems to really make your eyes pop. So if you've got blue eyes, I recommend investing in this pigment because it's fantastic. So 
So just on that same brush, I've just opened up my pigment. And very carefully, um, to make sure I don't get it everywhere, I'm just going to apply some of that to the lid. And this is why we did the eyeshadow first, rather than the foundation, because this is going to go everywhere. So I've taken that sort of two thirds of the way across the lid. If you wanted to now, you could blend out the edges just using the brush that had peach smoothie on. I sort of like the soft cut crease look, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just take some MAC Fix Plus, spray it on my brush. And then I've got no extra product on this, it's just whatever was left on there. And I'm gonna gently pat this over the product that we have on there to really intensify it. So using a wipe, I've just given myself a nice sharp line down there. Now it looks nice and neat, and I'm very happy with it. Um, so next, all I'm gonna do is take that brush that had Americana on it, without any extra product, and I'm just gonna really gently buff out the edges between where the um, tan pigment was and where Americana starts on the lid. So if you wanted to leave this look as it was and just put some lashes on and mascara, then you absolutely could, because we've got the dark outer corner and we've given ourselves a wing shape with the white anyway. You don't necessarily need to do wing liner, um, but I prefer to. I wanted to keep the colors really soft and brown rather than using any black. So I prefer just to darken out the lash line and just the outer edge. So I'm gonna go in with Max Black Track Liner and just do a quick wing liner. So I've just done some wing liner and applied some lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. So as you can see, my makeup's finished and I'm really glad my face is dead nice. Um, I've got spots everywhere. I'm very hormonal right now, not feeling my skin. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is just giving my skin a little bit of a boost because I feel like for prom, you wanna look your best. You wanna look really sort of glowy and like you are just having an amazing time with your skin right now. That's not something I'm having right now, so I need to do something about it. So I'm gonna go in with my Organic and Botanic Facial Serum. This is the Madagascan Coconut one. This is the Energizing Facial Serum um, from them, and I just love it. Get a good amount all over my face. And then I just take my damp beauty blender and I blend that in. This one just really, I don't know, it just makes my skin look so much better under underneath all my makeup. If I use it regularly, it just, it improves my skin so much. So if I feel like I need a bit of a pick me up, then this is the time that I really use it. So next I'm gonna prime my skin using the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer Water. I can never say that. Um, and I'm gonna give this a couple of spritzes. So around right now is when I prep my lips as well because I like to give them some time to sort of moisturize themselves while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Um, my favorite is the Burt's Bees. This is the Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm. Um, you, I mean, Burt's Bees do loads of different ones. This is just my favorite one out their range because it's so unbelievably nourishing. So for foundation for prom, I feel like you need, again, you need to use your favorite products for prom. You wanna feel your best, you wanna wear whatever makes you feel really, really good. My favorite is actually a combination of foundations. Um, it is the NARS All Day, all day luminous weightless foundation, always get that the wrong way around, and the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Both of these are actually in the colour Deauville at the moment, but I do have other shades that I mix and match depending on what colour I am. But right now, these are both in shade Deauville, if I didn't just mention that, which I'm not sure I did. Um, right now, I am fairly pale, as you can see, my fake tan is really wearing off. If you are having tan, if you're having spray tan done, or you're going to put fake tan on before, obviously make sure that you sort of plan in advance and get a good shade of foundation or maybe get some like lightening or darkening drops um, I know I think the body shop do some um, there's loads of places that do like color correcting not color correcting um, lightening and darkening drops with your foundation but just make sure that your foundation is going to match and make sure it's one that's going to last a long time as well so I know I touched on this earlier but the makeup you wear for prom is going to have to last all night and a lot of the time if your prom starts at like 6 or 7 you're going to be getting your makeup done at like 3 or 4 and it needs to last right through to like 12, 1 if there's an after party so you need to make sure you're wearing a foundation that one is the right colour uh, for if you get a spray tan on the day or beforehand and two, one that you love makes you feel great and um, it's just gonna last a really long time and I find that this combination for me is just the best. Dot it around and then blend it in. I always start blending um, where I feel like I need the most coverage because you're gonna have the most sort of 
product left on the beauty blender. And my chin is definitely that area. So you can see already what an amazing job that's done of covering up my spots. Don't forget to take it down your neck and your ears, especially if you fake tanned and you're a different colour. It doesn't matter so much for me because this is like a perfect match, but you know. See how much of a difference that oil makes underneath though as well. My skin is literally glowing. Next to conceal and highlight my face, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade MW15. I'm trying this new Lash Glue out. It's the Duo um, Brush On one with vitamins. Oh, I hadn't seen that before. But the reason I'm trying this out is because it's the dark one, so it dries black. And quite honestly, I'm not that impressed with it, um, and it's really irritating. So before I blend that out, I'm not just going to sit here like this forever. I'm taking um, my MAC 316 brush, which is like actually a lip brush. I never use it for that. The only thing I use this brush for is to carve out my eyebrows and to clean up my liner, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take some of the like excess out of one of the dots on my face and just really quickly clean up that liner. So the reason I do that before um, blending it out is because then you don't have to go right to your liner. So you're sort of taking away the risk of ruining your liner with your concealer. It just makes it, I know we cleaned it up with a wipe and stuff before, but by sort of tracing underneath it, one, it makes it really, really sharp, which is the look that I'm trying to achieve. Um, and two, it just means that you don't have to go right up to it with the big, big horrible beauty blender that could ruin it for you. So now I look completely crazy and like I'm an actual ghost, I'm going to set that all in place. Um, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I like to dry it off a bit first before I go in with a beauty blender to bake. So I'm going to go in with my 105 Luxe Highlight from Zoeva. And I'm just taking a really small amount and patting it, not dragging, patting under the eyes. Um, and anywhere that my makeup tends to move around. Then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and on my forehead because I get quite a bit of creasing there because I'm always moving my face around. And the joys of being nearly 25, I have wrinklers. So next I'm gonna go into face makeup um, so I can bake that as well. And I'm gonna go in with my, oh, I nearly said NARS, but it's Benefit, um, Hula Bronzer on my Zoeva 109 Lux face paintbrush, it's like a flat brush, looks like this, and I'm going to use this to put it with. Have you seen Kylie Jenner's actual double line though? It's unreal. She don't have no double chin. Then I'm going to take my MAC 168 brush, because I'm not going to look like this forever, and I'm going to take a bit more product, and I'm going to use this to blend it out really lightly. And then I'm just going to put some of that around the top Oh, well, the sides of my forehead as well. I've mentioned this in a previous video. In fact, I think I might have mentioned it in the video that I didn't end up putting on my channel, which was where I filmed and said my eyes were going mental with allergies. Um, but I've got quite a short forehead. Like, there's not a lot of it compared to a rather large rest of my face. So I don't like to contour around the top. I just do the sides to try and give the appearance that it's a bit thinner um, and longer. But if you have quite a large forehead, or you know you're a bit insecure about having a large fod then um, just contour around the top as well and it will just make your face look a bit shorter but for me I just do round the sides and don't forget to blend out your jawline if you use that as a weaver brush because it's great for applying a nice straight line but it don't do much for blending out I was going to bake that but no I still am <laughs> who am I kidding? So, back into my Laura Mercier and my Beauty Blender. Um, I'm just going to take some more of that powder and cut my contour. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. I use this for my nose contour. I'm going back into Hoola and I'm just going to do a very quick contour of the nose. Right, now taking that Zoeva 105 Lux Highlight Brush again. I'm just gonna dust away all the areas of my face where I've been baking. So my under eyes, really lightly flicking away the excess powder. So normally for prom I'd go in with something really, really bronzy, like my MAC Give Me Sun. But as you can see, 
I am way too pale for this right now. If I put this on my face, I would actually look like a Numpa Loompa. If you don't know what Numpa Loompa is, you need to Google it. I'm, I'm really old. But yeah, it's actually orange AF. But when I have a tan, this looks fit, absolutely fit. But I really need to find a decent bronzer for when I'm pale because this is my natural shade, which I am most of the time because half the time I can't be asked tanning. So um, the one I'm using today is not my favorite, but it's good for when I'm this pale. If you want, you don't have to bronze at all. Um, I just like to look a little less pale. And although Hoola is technically a bronzer, it's really quite cool toned. And as you can see, it's a great contour, but I don't think it's very good as a sort of bronzer to warm up my face. So I'm gonna go in with the Soap and Glory Solar Powder. Sort of lightly try and give myself a bit of a bronzed glow. And then up round here. I do go a little bit onto my forehead because I like to look a bit tanned. So I'm going in with an old favourite of mine. I feel like with highlighter, makeup in general, I think people can appreciate it. With highlighter, I feel like it's so it's like such a personal thing because I like a really strong highlight, especially if I was going to something like prom where I'm really, really glam, I'm wearing a really nice dress, I'm wearing a really, really good, I want a pop in highlight. But there are some people that just don't feel like they can pull it off or they think it looks ridiculous. I know I've had a couple of comments in my time about how fierce my highlight is uh, in a bad way. I personally love it, but you know, sometimes it's not to everyone's taste. So I feel like, again, if you've got highlighter that you really love, if you're, a, are you done? Are you quite finished? Oh, you are done, thanks. So I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, if you've got a highlighter that you really love, I would say go with that. If you're more of a subtle person, maybe don't do the next step. Just go with highlight first. Um, but I'm gonna be taking my Sleek Solstice palette and I'm gonna be taking this shade here, which is like the orangey shade. Actually thinking about it, I am too pale for that. I am too pale. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, the like yellowy shade. Um, on my MAC, 24224 brush, but what I'm going to do first to, you know, make it extra, I'm feeling extra today, I can't help it, I'm going to go with my MAC uh, Fix Plus and I'm going to spray this shit all over my face, all over my face is going to be coated in this stuff. Ooh, drench the skin. So I'm going to go in with that sort of yellowy, very pale yellow shade. Today. No, I'm gonna go with the orange shade. Yes. <laughs> yes, honey. Give it to me. Yes. Yeah, that's me. So, optional, optional part of the tutorial. If you want something a bit different, then you could go in with a burgundy under the eye, because that would look quite nice, but I think I'm gonna stick to my browns, because although that would be really nice, I'm just feeling symmetry, you know? So I'm gonna take that um, Coco Bear shade, which was the third shade we used. Um, it's sort of a sort of really warm, mid-toned brown. I'm taking that on a flat shade brush from MAC. I think this is my MAC 214. Then I'm gonna take that Americano shade, the really dark brown, and I'm gonna run that on just the outer corner. Then just taking that blending brush that we used earlier with no additional product on, I'm just gonna gently buff that out. This is my MAC Studio Chromographic, <gasps> Studio Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15 NW20. And I'm just gonna take that on my inner water, well, my waterline, my lower waterline. So for the lips, I really wanted to use my Whirl lipstick because I feel like it would look really beautiful with these eyes um, and my favourite lip liner ever, Whirl lip liner, has disappeared off the face of the earth. I can't find it anywhere. I've looked in all of my bags, of which there's not many because I'm not really a bad girl. I've looked in the car, I've looked in my work bag with my laptop in. The only thing I can think of is I've left it in some hotel room somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where it was. So I'm still going to use it. 
because I'm a, uh, you know, I am. Um, but I'm gonna go in instead with stripped down lip liner from MAC. It's still, you know, it's a nude. So now that my lips are well and truly lined, I'm gonna go in with Whirl Lipstick from MAC and just go over the top. So then just to lighten up a bit, I'm gonna go in with the NYX um, Lingerie it's a Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade number three, Lace Detail. And I'm gonna focus this mainly on the center. If I can fucking open it, Christ. So I've just realized I didn't put any bottom lash mascara on. I keep forgetting this. So I'm just gonna go in with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So this is the finished makeup look. Don't know why I'm so hyper today, but I'm just feeling great. I know I look real sexy right now with my receding hairline, ratchet ponytail, uh, my gym t-shirt and stuff, but you know, I'm good in the face, so that's all that matters. I'm just going to go and chill in the park with the dog now, I think. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. If you have got to this point of the video and you have actually put up with all my chatting shit through the whole thing, I seriously commend you. Put me some emojis down in the comments below if you're still watching this video now because, seriously, I want to know who watches till the end. Interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see me chat more shit. Not quite sure why you would want to, but, you know, subscribe. <laughs> anyway, um, all joking aside, thank you very much for watching if you have got to this point. I really appreciate it, and I will see you, hopefully, in my next video. Bye!